Ah, last train for me today. I'm due for a checkup soon. Yes, because you're ancient compared to all of us. Well, in case the General Electric Vault didn't know, I was built to last a hundred years. Pfft, not even that. You young engines can be so testy. Youth and exuberance is no match for old age and treachery, they always say. Gus, you are 34, far from the first SD40 on the assembly line. If anyone is old here, it's Ross and that other guy that came in yesterday. You mean Owen? Yeah, the guy that somehow has a southern accent. It gets in my swerves, I swear. Alright, we should be heading for North Point now. These containers won't get to the container ship themselves. Not unless you give one of the well cars engines. Oh, that's preposterous! Where will the container space go? As usual, they just have an engine at the front. Oh, come on! Don't be this lazy! It's not I'm lazy, I'm just really exhausted, you know? Yeah, yeah, I get it. Just don't go nagging too much. Ugh, fine. Whatever you say, whatever makes you happy. Oh, no, it's that engine again. Howdy, partner. How you doing on this fine day? Meh, you? I'm doing very alright. In fact, I'm getting ready to start heading back home. Good. What's wrong? Oh, well, I'm sorry, but your accent is literally nails and a chalkboard to listen to. Well, that's because... <laughs> you think that an engine from Baltimore would have a Texan accent? Ugh, some brains that Diesel's got. Got you good! But, 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 but... How? Well, you see, it was all an act. In order to try to attract Texans, you gotta blend in with the people. Oh. Now I want to just go ready for that Ross guy to return. He is the one that's going to break the news of my fate. Meanwhile, will any one of you show the little guy around? Who? Him. Who, me? Yes, you. Since you're not rostered on the small railroad for no reason, I think it's time you learn the ropes. I technically had no real owner before I came here. I was being rented out by the San Diego Marshalling Yards. I was only there to arrange a few last cars before I was scheduled to be cut up for scrap. Interesting how you're in tip-top condition! Yeah, the scrappers deem my parts more valuable for sale if they were perfectly functional. Thankfully, I've got a home here. I'm not sure for how long, though. Oh, don't be like that! You're a perfect fit! Yeah, but I'm on trial with Mr. Nathan. He's gonna see if I'm actually good enough to be on his roster. Best of luck to you. Uh, what is your name? Xavier. Thank you. Ah, Xavier. And Owen, just keep him company for a bit. I'm gonna help Mikey search in the cars and arrange them at the docks. I'm bringing Johnson too. Sure thing. Alright, we're just gonna be switching for the time being. Isn't that right, Johnson? Uh, very degrading. <laughs> uh, new engines. They never change. Well, now that they're gone, how are you feeling? Um, anxious? I can see why. I was once in your shoes, too. Shoes? Like break shoes? Metaphor. I was once in the scrap lines, too, albeit not in good condition. Rods disconnected, dome casings removed, tender absent of cold water. You get the gist. That's when your owner purchased you? Oh, are we kidding? Yeah, he got me in 55 and later passed me down to his son in the 90s. So far I've been going cross country, very far away from home. How I've been getting away with emissions restrictions is beyond me. What's it like there? Busy. A lot of people flock to me, especially because I'm a Pacific. Well, pretty sure every steamer is special to those kind of people, especially in an era dominated by diesel and electricity. Well, I come for another reason. Ever since my half-brother from Grand Trunk was put down in the 80s, people have been outraged and thought I was the only survivor of my kind. And sadly to say, that's not really the case. I have a sibling from Florida, and another half-brother that's also from Grand Trunk, but that's it. In short, I'm rather overhyped. I'm not the kind of engine that puts himself down and all, but the whole popularity surrounding me can get kind of tiring. First time. Since when were you famous? Seaboard engines are a rarity. Well, old diesels are one thing, but old steamers are quite another. But both share the same thing. We're old and out of date compared to products out there like Johnson and Dante. We're just like Mikey, 
Ross, Will, and Gus. You learn everyone's names quick. Gus didn't even know your name. Eh, I'm used to that. Oh boy, I know the feeling of only being called by number. Yeah, not really present when you already have an identity for yourself. Mm-hmm. Now, is your prime mover fixed up? I think so. I'm gonna get some work done as soon as possible. Remember this. Don't work yourself to death there, partner. Remember what happened last time? Ugh. Yeah. Right. Hey. Eh. You doing okay? Yep. I'm ready for work. Hmm. Someone's enthusiastic, eh? Yeah. I just need to be shown around here first. Alright, let's start. The station the are in is called North Point, with the docks over there. It's not a big dock, but it helps with an industry nonetheless. Or down the line, there's a small station with a low bridge just ahead of it. The station is called Service Haven, due to being close to the beach. Radical dude. Sir, Surfer Talk died ages ago. Oops. Anyway, you'll go down some twists and curves, over a bridge, and you arrive at Haley. A small station with a little switching yard. As you go ahead, you arrive at Langley, a small industry yard. That's the final stop before you go over to the main line. Then you arrive at the South Shore, the terminus of the railroad. That's where a lot of the heavy industry is. How do I tell which one is what? Uh, oh, oh, sorry, gotta do some work. Mr. Nathan will tell you of your assignments. Either that or a yard master. Goodbye for now, and good luck. But I... Just gotta figure it out yourself.